Hello. Oh, hello. I'm back. Yeah, you're back. There you go. There's that piece of paper oh, for you. Thank you. And just like, uh, I just figured I'd let you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through today and take a bunch of pictures and some video back in there and see what's going on. Because mm -hmm. so, so like if there's a, I talked to DNR and it seems that if, uh, if I can show that there's nuisance problems and they're tearing up all your trees and everything back there, mm -hmm. I can get it removed. There you go. Now you met Flora. Flora's kind of like, you know, she's on a fixed income. She can't really do anything about this. Nothing will be done. Right now we had a little bit of flooding overnight from big heavy rain. So the water is up slightly. But this is what it looks like. Usually it's been a lot lower when we're not having a flood. But yeah, that's not the greatest. Ooh, there's a trout right there. Look at that one. That's a nice one. Ooh, there was actually a trout right there. Huh, interesting. Well, we got a little bit more flowage going today. Yesterday, this was like all swampy over here, like a big giant swamp. All this grass you see there, look at that. This is covered with it all through here. And the water's hardly moving. Right now, there's a little bit more of a current going right now due to the, uh, from the rains last night. But for the majority of the time right now, this is pretty bad in here. So, and look at it, that's shallow. Last year, the water was way up on the bank, higher than it is now. And you couldn't even walk through here. It was just miserable, but for us as humans to walk through here but for trout this was great because it was big deep bass and lots of places for the go but right now it's just kind of like this weeds are starting to choke everything out and it's starting to get kind of like you know like it is right now and up in here this area here used to be some of the deepest spot here from a drop pool off the edge of this bridge and now it's like super shallow right here this is the view from the other side a big grassy thing you see right there in the middle of the creek as you're going up that's a gigantic dam and all that grass and greener age going on top of it. There is some water going through. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up a little bit more so we can get that pond above it to drain out. So tomorrow will be easier to do this if there's not a big gushing of water coming down to, to, I don't know, take me downstream. We don't want that. You guys probably think it'd be funny, but I sure don't. Anyways, I'm gonna get my gear together. I'm gonna hike over there and I'm gonna, I'll, set, I'll turn the camera on when I get to the dam and give you a close up look at it. Three days later. All right, here we go. Put it down the hill here. Get some of those poison crap, I think is what that is. I'm not even sure. I'm not that the heck out of my way. I don't want that in my face. All right, we'll get down here and see what's happening. Anyway, it's looking. Right now, wow. Something's been filling up the spot. See that? Look at all the logs that got brought in there. And there's mud that's been built up there again. I think something's back. So we're going to have to do quickly. So I'm going to take all that debris there and throw it back into the bank and or maybe the other side. We'll have to see. So I'm going to get over there and cut all that grass down. i got a trimmer with me here. Right there. I'm going to trim that out. We're going to work our way around the other side there and clear out that passage. But that, as far as this is going to go here in the future, we're going to have two spots open because I really don't think I have to remove this area in here. This area here is fine. This was kind of built here by the beaver, actually. Technically, this is that's not part of the stream, but whatever. I'm just going to go to that middle section out there and I'm going to remove that stuff and then, yeah, let's see what we got here. This spot here was deep. There was a nice drop pool there. That's all good. Um, Alright, so this has been dammed back up again and it's been mudded and everything else to try to keep the water from flowing through. So, let's get to going. This is going to be fun. i got to get this going here. And first we'll pull all these logs out and then uh, we're going to do what we gotta do because we gotta drain this pool because we're working on that outer section. Let me see here, I put the shovel down here. We're working on that outer section, kind of right in there on the other side. There's like this little divot right here. That's kind of like the beginning of the where it's gonna be and then across. And we're not gonna remove anything here. We're gonna leave this stuff here alone. But we're mainly just gonna take out that middle section so where it's dammed up there so the water can free flow down to where it's supposed to be across there. Because that whole area is clogged up. All right, back in a second. Let's get this done. section out here so this water can flow out 
get this full drain back here. When I did this in here, didn't have any problems. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. Because I have no clue. We're gonna get this little bit out of here for now. Hopefully it brings this pool down just enough where I need it to be. So I can start chopping away at this. The first thing I gotta do is like a hedge trimmer, get in here and cut all that down. Then once I cut that down, then I'll just start removing this out because I don't know what else there's to do here. The only other way to do it here is wait till fall. Get a friend of mine out here and trap these guys and just get them out of here. That's about all we can do. Talk to some landowners, see if they'll allow it. Just get in here and get these beavers out because they're just getting, as you can tell, they're back. So I'm going to get this stuff out of here and work my way around to the front and start removing the hedge, I guess, you know. So, so all right, there you go. That's what I want to see. Flowing through there nicely. That pool above it starting to drain. It's draining pretty quick up here on this upper section, which would be nice. Uh, now I can get that one over here. Start taking out that front because that whole front is totally clogged and it should be going straight through there. But instead, it's coming around here and down and washing it all out. So let's get down in here and make it happen. We're gonna take a quick break here. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta clean all this stuff here out. Just a big pile, cutting all that out of there. What a disaster that was, I tell you. All right, what we're gonna try to do is right here in the middle section, just get that base out of there. Just get enough of that debris, enough of that mud, for that water start flowing out of there. And if it starts flowing out of there at a nice steady pace, it'll wash out. Thing is, is that we gotta just get it going to get it to that point. That side will stay out, and that side should stay out for the time being once I get it cleared. And you know, they'll still to try to come in here and fill it up, you know, I'm not gonna be dumb. They're still gonna come back, and they're still gonna work on trying to fill in these spaces. That's just a given, that's gonna keep, keep happening. So what I'm gonna do is just come back in through here, I don't know, maybe once a month, and just see how things are going, and then I'll just pull the logs out there, to, you know, accumulate it over that time, and then I'll just get rid of them, but for now, here comes the hard part. I'm gonna get here with a shovel and get my all my masks on and just start removing that thing. Let's get going.
hours later. All right, that's how far it's come along so far. I've pulled quite a few of the sticks out of there and branches and mud and a lot of it's just floated downstream with the current. Um, there's a few sticks that are left behind that I need to pull out and throw onto the bank. But for the most part, what I just read online is they were showing like a, they were showing bears and bears ripping beaver dams apart with their claws. And so, you know what I did? I just put my gloves on and here I am digging like a bear. And I'm just ripping through that beaver dam. It's got to come out, that middle section. If I can get that middle section out of there, then I'm done. I don't have to do any more. So. Two hours later. All right, so here we go. This is where I'm ending up. I cleared out both sides. The water was rushing through there. It's like down to the kind of like the bedrock. There's a little bit of roots and stuff still kind of like hovering in there. But for the most part, it's all been taken out. That pool started to drain. Water's starting to come through here in this section that never been through here before. Or at least hasn't been through here in a long time. And it's still coming through over on the other side where I pulled out this stuff earlier. But yeah, here we go. That's the finished project right there. All done. I'm overheated and I need water. I need to get dehydrated. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Water and I'm dehydrated. Anyways, um, that's the finished deal right there. I carved out all that from the middle section of this. Um, it's water's flowing pretty good. I kicked up a lot of the uh, debris that's in there and kind of kicked it back downstream here. Some's over in this area. Threw some up in the weeds and up there. A whole bunch is over here and a whole bunch is over that way. So, as of this point right now, the uh, pool above here is draining quite nicely, actually. Um, the shoreline over on that side, it's come down probably about over a foot so far since I've been here today. Just clearing this all out after some other animal. I mean, I don't know if it's a beaver or what was going on. It's over here refilling up the spot. So about all we can do here is just keep coming back and checking and making sure that this is doing what it's doing. So, uh, for right now, I'm gonna head up to uh, Flora's house and I got some tomatoes and some zucchini and, uh, you know, some green peppers and stuff from a friend's garden. I'm gonna bring it over and drop it off at her house. She could have something for, you know, I'm sure she's not be able to garden too much anymore at her age, getting out kind of hard to move around. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna head over here and uh, say goodbye to her and head home. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. I will do an outro here shortly, but first I'm going to go over here and see her and then uh, tell her about the job that's done right there. Check it out. Isn't that awesome? It is all done. Well, for now. I mean, yeah, granted, I could have probably figured out this more on this side here, just a little bit on that side. But I see what I'm right there. It's like totally wide open for this pool to drain for all the silt to come on downstream here and collect. Beavers come back. I'll come in here and get them out. Anyways, I will see you shortly. All right, let's go. We're all done here. Hello. I'm back. I, I got it all taken out and then I've been down there for like four hours. It's all done. You got them all off? All the beaver dam. It's all out. Pardon? The beaver dam is all out. Uh -huh. All out of there. I got something else here for you. Oh, oh farmer, my man. A farmer friend of ours gave it to me. Oh, 
zucchini, a big giant one. And then here you got green beans in here from their farm. And then you got a couple of green peppers. Oh my land. Right there. You that they, your whole garden? Well, there's a whole bunch that they had extra. And this is all like just filled with tomatoes. Oh, there you thank go. you very, very much. There you go. Extra. You. I know you can't get out and do much anymore, so we should have something, so some vegetables. So that I went down in here, boy, that was hard. It's like once I got into it, you know, it got kind of mushy, and I was able to push it all out. Oh. So the whole middle section of it, oops, sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing to the door for. Anyways, uh, the whole middle section of it is just like removed it and it started getting muddy so i just started smooshing it smooshing it that's why i'm all dirty for it because oh i got on my hands and knees and just started pushing it and it just started going downstream with all the water faster and faster and next thing you know it was all cleared out so i'm all happy how you doing well, that's that's wonderful so i haven't seen you sir in a couple weeks yeah, huh? she said, i'm was, old she says <laughs> yeah it got really hot this past week so i figured i wasn't going to come here and do it i figured i'd just wait and then yeah. i figured i'd wait till like when it got less that's painful because it was really, really mis miserable, hot and oh, humid, my. and for the past week it was terrible. So, all right, well I'm not gonna be able to stay long. I gotta get home and take a shower and get all this muddy clothes off because it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's all out and it's good now. And I'll stop by every once in a while and check and make sure the band's out. And then if I get some extra, I'll stop by and bring more for you. So. Oh, thank you. And if I can't, if I can't get a hold of you, I'll just set it out here on like a on your uh, one of your chairs out here. Uh huh. Because I came by earlier and you must have been in the basement or something. I couldn't get in yeah. touch with you, so I just went over there and started working. So. Well, thank you very, very much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for letting me do it. I was kind of happy to be able to get it out of there finally. So it's nice well, to. And that that sure is good to get that. <sighs> Well, geez, that was one heck of a day. I tell you, that is like kind of a three-part series right there. I was over there at her house like uh, last week and then a couple days the week before. I was just kind of checking it out. And the uh, it seems that the, 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 um, what, like the public, the city council or something, whatever it was for that area up there, for public works or whatever, they took out the two beaver dams above her house and they didn't take the one out below her. So today, as you saw, I managed to cut a section off on one side that they were refilling back up with logs. And then that middle section, I just took it all out. So now the way, it, all it takes is a couple good storms. That's going to wash that middle section right out of there. Because basically all I was doing is just barely touching it and pulling it like this. And it was collapsing. I ran into the stream and vanishing. So that whole area is going to clear out. I got it out of there for her. I ended up getting some vegetables from a friend of mine. And like some tomatoes and some cucumbers and some green peppers and... A big zucchini and before i left i stopped by her house and dropped one off and said hello to her you know oh, sorry and I, I i stopped by her house and you know i dropped one off and and i gave her some vegetables you know i told her that i'm done and i got it all taken care of and i told her that somebody some beaver was in there on the over the time that i was gone because of the heat and filled it up on one side with a bunch of logs i managed to get in there just clear it all out and got it flowing again and then i opened up that whole middle section as you saw it's done. Oh my God, she was really super happy as you saw at the end of the video. I'll put that in there, a little clip of it. I'm gonna cover up her face because nobody needs to really know who she is. But otherwise than that, hey, what the heck? It was something to do. The lady needed help. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a really easy job and it ended up being a lot harder than I thought it was. But hey, what the heck? I got it done and that's all that matters. Huh. I know this is a totally different video than you're used to, but hey, whatever. So hey, the way to say this is, uh. Uh, go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of things I do in the driftless places that I go, things that I do, tearing beaver dams apart, catching fish, catching no fish, doing other things. Who knows? On this channel, everything is going to happen. We're going to just do, who knows what could happen. Next week, we could go climbing trees. Doubtful, but that's probably, you know, what we could do around here because around here, we do a little bit of everything. Anyways, it's going to be a head over here playlist. Go check it out, and I will see you on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. I will check you later. Have a good one.